Today I want to have a break from the boring reviews and just do a nice and easy fun project. So today we build the Dilly which is a sweet little creation from Kibio and this is a 3x10 ortholinear keyboard, basically just a gherkin but for the Kale Choc low profile key switches. It comes with the PCB, a base plate, 30 diodes, a reset switch, a bunch of standoffs and screws, and a MOSFET and resistor if you wish to install LEDs. You will require a soldering station to complete this, and this just involves very simple through-hole soldering and a bit of surface mount. Now to the Kale Choc switches. These are some low profile switches by Kale, which are not to be confused with the Cherry Low Pro switches. The original ones were white, browns and reds, but there's a heap of variants now thanks to novel keys. So I picked out the heaviest of each, the linear, tactile and clicky switches. The reset pins hit the corners of these two switches, so I just melted some of the plastic away so that they sit properly. Like most other barebone budget PCBs, we power it with a Pro Micro. This uses the QMK firmware. So you can download an available default hex file or create your own custom layout on QMK Configurator. Once you have your hex file ready, open up QMK Toolbox, load up your hex file, reset the Pro Micro by shorting the ground and reset pins, and it should be good to go. Now to the case. You would have seen in the thumbnail, but to go with the chalk switches, I'm going to make a nice block of chocolate. Nothing too new or crazy here, I just want something simple to border the key switches. I'm using 3.5mm polycarbonate sheets and doing the old glue up and scroll saw method of mine.
So uh, yeah, there's not enough clearance for that thick as pro micro. So I had to cut out that bottom layer and glue on another one. And that's the thing with this, it still ends up being quite thick because we still have the PCB and we still have the said Pro Micro. They include 5mm spaces which require you to really cut down those pins on the controller. Then it's just a matter of sanding, priming and painting. For low profile key switches, you will need low profile keycaps because of the different stems. I got these keycaps from Novel Keys and these are just a smooth blank white. They're very much like laptop keycaps being very flat. And these will get a paint job as well. And here it is all done, I now have a nice little chalk bar that I'm totally not ever going to realistically use because if you are using a 30% keyboard, you're having a laugh but yeah I'm pretty happy. I went with this high profile design so that the key switches are hidden. It is pretty thick which kind of goes against the whole low profile thing but to be honest it's pretty much as thin as I could get it. It is still tiny though, of course being a 30% keyboard, but the footprint of the switches is smaller to normal, so the footprint of the whole keyboard is smaller as well. Without the case, it definitely looks more legit, like an actual block of chocolate, but I still wanted a case to enclose it. I gotta give Kibio a big thumbs up as well, with all the cool, unique keyboards they have. I love little keyboards like this, and it's especially cool that they made something for the Kale low profile switches. The Kale Chalk switches are also really fun to play with. Honestly, in my personal opinion, the clickies are pretty much what I find interesting and worth it. For such low profile switches, they still maintain a pretty good amount of travel at 3mm. So the linears are decent I guess since they still do have most of that distance and all of these are factory looped as well so they're relatively smooth. As for the tactiles they're okay but for me not that impressive. I have the burnt oranges which are supposed to be the most tactile ones and well yeah the bump is really quite weak. I think for me these are the disappointing ones of the bunch but of course your experience may vary. So yeah, the clickies are where it's at for me since they do use the click bar like the Kale Box key switches. 
I hope I can do more project builds to break up the monotony of the reviews a bit more, especially novelty builds like this, so I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.